Uh, specifically, this way of cooking, I learned. I didn't learn. I watched my mom cook. So whenever she cooks, I just keep watching them. And also, this is a Sri Lankan spice chili. Like I said earlier, like I like spicy food. Lovers, my name is Darshan. So welcome to Cooking with the Beardo. So what I'm going to cook for you all today is like deer meat and uh, roti, which is flatbread in Sri Lanka. So let's go. Okay, so the spices I'm going to use for this dish is one, the Sri Lankan chili powder and uh, fennel seeds, mustard seeds and uh, chili flakes and some turmeric and also onion, garlic and tomatoes and obviously the meat. So the pan is already heated with the oil, so I'm going to add the meat. So I'm not going to add any spices now because I want the meat to be cooked, half cooked. So it's easy to add spices later and then it, the meat will soak in all the flavors. So I'm letting the meat cook in uh, this high heat for some time. Everybody eats spicy, eh? Okay. So I will let it stay this for close for two minutes so the meat will get cooked well. So for me I can add the spices later. Yeah, so now I'm gonna add the garlic and onions and tomatoes. Chili flakes, I like spicy food, so I'm gonna add some chili flakes. And also, this is a Sri Lankan spice. No, it depends, it changes like when you're cooking outdoor, the fire, you just have to take the wok out and put it out, put it in, like that. But then in the gas, like if you're cooking at home in the gas, you can keep it on low temperature. Just the beginning high temperature and then like five minutes later you maintain it and then it's slow cooked dish. Yeah, so I'm gonna add the salt. I'm using my hands because I've been cooking for 15-20 years so I'm so used to the measurements in hand. Uh, like if you're cooking game meat it takes longer. If you're cooking chicken in the same dish with the chicken it's like 15 minutes maximum. If you you can if you if you, if you when you're cooking meat if it's too much salt you can all always add potatoes like potatoes or like sweet potatoes it has the capacity to soak in the flavors quick and then especially it absorbs salt in a so so then the meat uh, wouldn't be too salty uh, so specifically this way of cooking I learned I didn't learn I watched my mom cook so whenever she cooks I just keep watching them the smoke. <laughs> I'm getting emotional. <laughs> Don't ask me personal questions. You know, I'm sensitive. Uh, this paprada is rubbing in me. <laughs> Where's my touch up and makeup? <laughs> no, I used to walk because I cut the meat really thin. So walk, it's like really quick cook. So it uh, cooks the meat really fast. So I'm going to leave it open because uh, I see there's some gravy there. So I want the gravy to dry out and the meat soaking all the flavor from the gravy. So this is what you what I call roti. It's uh, basically a flatbread in Sri Lanka. So I make this with uh, flour, water, and uh, some coconut pulps and salt. <laughs> 
pretty much that it. Uh, when I mix the dough, it's always uh, I added some oil there, so you don't need oil in the pan. So this uh, this thickness is called roti. So if I if I'm making a little bit thinner, it was it's called paratha actually, which is also famous in India as well. It's better to keep uh, flipping it, like especially when you're cooking outdoor fire. It's, it's always better to keep flipping like at least two or three times because uh, the fire, the heat generates up and down and up and down. So it's no, there's no balanced heat. Oh yeah, good. The spice level is exactly what I wanted and the meat is cooked well. It's delicious. Oh yeah, I like that uh, woman who cook. <laughs> I'll follow her. <laughs> my channel is R-rated because all my food is spicy. <laughs> <laughs>